Hi, welcome to the Micromark Workshop. I'm here today to show you an item with a new twist. It is our 81853JP Jig Mold Putty. Um, before me and before you, you see some really odd shaped items. A year or so ago, while we were vacationing at the beach, my wife and daughters collected a lot of seashells. At one point thereafter, after we brought them home, um, they decided they wanted to make necklaces and bracelets out of them. They came to me because they couldn't hold these odd shaped items easily at all when they went to use a drill press and drill a small hole in them so that they could string them. It was at that time, uh, we had an existing item that we sold at Micromark and I tried it. It worked great. Um, it's our jig putty. Um, it holds really odd shaped items. Um, and allows you to drill the item safely without fracturing the item um, and quickly and efficiently. What you do is you take half a part of A and half a part of B, whatever the size you need, you mix them together into a little ball, kneading them for about 35, 40 seconds, press that kneaded uh, putty ball onto the table, push the item that you wanna hold, that's not easily held by any other method, and in about five minutes time, the rubber's hard and the item that has been pressed into it has left the reverse negative impression. What I've done already for you is I pressed this little shell into the mold rubber, jig putty, and it's copied the inside of that sh shape right there. This now allows this particular shell to be held firmly in place, level, and it would allow my wife to take it from here, put it in the drill press, drill her hole, and then continue on to the next one. So on this other little shell, it's left an impression of the inside area of the shell, and it allows it to be held in place nicely. Or the skinny little shell has left that impression, and it allows the pieces not to move during the drilling operation. And now, we also have stones that we found, and the stones are not flat, so it would move on them. In this jig putty, they are now firmly held in place. So you see they found all sorts of shells, um, really pretty shells, and they were able to make a couple nice bracelets, necklaces out of them. And they're all unique, uniquely shaped. Um, Micromark for shells, if you're going to drill them, I found that our carbide drill bit sets work the best because they're the sharpest. Um, and you can use it for just about anywhere where something cannot be held in a vise without breaking or moving. This allows you to go ahead and enjoy your hobby more. You get a pound of jig putty uh, when you make the purchase, and you can make probably a hundred di little different molds. Um, it's not reusable, so you use just enough for what you need. I have an example of a motor back here, which is really oddly shaped and would be otherwise difficult to hold in a vise if I was going to be doing any drill relief holes or machining it or doing whatever I needed to do for this particular motor. motor. Uh, but you can see the impression it's left. So what was now was not easily to hold now becomes a nice little jig putty mold. And now I can go ahead and it's not going to move while I manipulate it, drill it, file something. You can use, here's a key that we've got. And it doesn't sit flat at all. And if I wanted to engrave this, or if I wanted to drill a hole in it, or if I wanted to etch it, um, I can't do it. I can't do it in a, in a vise. There's no way to hold it. But now with the jig buddy, it's, it's held perfectly nice. Now I can go ahead and I can engrave it, drill it, whatever. Okay. So I've got this piece right here. I'm going to mix together equal portions of part A and part B. That's a larger piece. So I'll start with that part, that much of part A. 
an equal amount of this guy right here and roll that together roll this together you get the approximate size and that's pretty close to being even for both amounts and then you just combine the two you can wear gloves if you'd like while you mix this silicone putty um vinyl gloves not latex gloves and you just knead it for about 30 to 45 seconds until you get a uniform color mixing time you've got generally about a minute to knead the parts together to a uniform color before the catalyst inside the putty starts solidifying the putty. Now, if you needed a little ball, it would only take a matter of 20 seconds to mix one. This is a little more than a, like I used for the shelves. I'm going to take this guy now, which would be pretty hard to hold in a vise because there's nothing, no equal surfaces on this. I'm going to make an impression into the mold putty if I wanted to work on this side. So you have to know which side you want to work on and how you want to hold the particular item in place. Three more minutes and we'll see what we got. Okay, welcome back. Our jig putty has hardened, and we're ready to take our little motor out here. And it's made a really nice impression. There's a hole that it's goes with that guy right there. There are holes in the side where they've started to make their impression in there. Those will all aid in holding this, this item firmly in our jig putty while we machine it, manipulate it, drill it, sand it, file it whatever we would need to do. In fact, it almost sort of will snap back in to the mold. And that's, that's not going anywhere. So these are just a few uses for the jig putty. I will say that I've also used it to work on glass that was oddly shaped in a wet bath that I had made underneath my drill press. Um, really odd shape, really nice piece of stained glass that I needed to drill um, with a diamond bit. Um, held it fine, didn't move on me at all, um, didn't hurt the glass, came out fine. I've also used the jig putty to paint tiny figurines for HO and O scale model railroading. I had a whole batch of figures that were unpainted and they were becoming extremely hard to hold while I was painting the shoes and the pants and the, the face, the hats that they were wearing. Um, I did find that in that particular case, I had a lot of figures that were the same identical figures. So I could reuse molds. I wouldn't need to make another mold. And I laid them across my layout and you can't even tell that they're the same figure. So uh, those are just a few examples of what jig putty can do for you. Additionally, the jig putty um, is again, is a silicone material. So after you've taken your pieces out, it's probably a good idea just to wash them in soap and water to get any of the oils that might be in the putty that have gotten onto your part, um, especially for painting. After you've done the front side of your figure, take the piece out, wash it off, flip it over into, into its other put, uh, mold that it needs so you can paint the back side and continue on. So it's 81853JP, Jig Putty, um, available from Micromark. Try some.